Hey Taurus, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Taurus, what's going on with you this week? What do you need to hear and know? We have the Knight of Swords here, okay? We have the Six of Cups here. And we have the Four of Wands. Ooh. Ooh. Three of Cups. Some of you are having fun. You could be visiting people in their homes or we're in that holiday season in the United States um, here. So, and for some of you around the world, it's holiday season. Um, so some of you could be visiting people. I just see you visiting. You're having fun. Some of you could be traveling to somewhere where it's more warmer, coming out of cold temperatures, going to somewhere where it's warm. Maybe you don't like the cold for some of you. Or you could live in, in warm temperatures, okay? Let me take a sip. For others of you, get ready to move into a relationship, okay? <laughs> somebody, three of cups, somebody is coming in. I don't know who you're dealing with, but Taurus. Okay, let's get into it. <laughs> Let me be quiet. Knight of Swords. What is this for Taurus? What is this? Knight of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, okay. Will of Fortune. You may have an apology coming in from a Sagittarius for some of you. We have Temperance here. Someone is manifesting like talking to you, wanting to send a message. I don't see you responding to the this person as quickly as they would like. You may wait to respond to them. Yeah, three of wands, 10 of wands. This may worry this person. They may have been waiting for you to respond and you haven't. Ace of wands is here. It could be a fire sign. I'm getting Sagittarius, but it could also be Aries or Leo as well. <clears throat> I just feel like someone here could be waiting to hear from you. We have the Ace of Cups here. Oh, you could be waiting to talk to someone yourself. Remember vice versa? Okay, the stories could be flipped or reversed here. Ace of Wands, show me Ace of Swords here. Ace of Cups still at the bottom of the deck that I showed you. Chariot, Cancerian Energy. Oh, wow. Someone, it's like they want to see you. They want to talk to you. What is going on with this energy? Chariot. Five of Wands. Four of Swords. Oh. <clears throat> Some of you may be in your happy little bubble. You could already be in a relationship but you do have someone else someone else here is it's like they're waiting to hear from you but <clears throat> i see you not responding to this person you're putting them on hold like you don't want to talk to them five of wands with the four of swords you may not want to deal with that <laughs> you you may not want to deal with that okay six of cups show me what is that energy for taurus Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, someone from the past, very apologetic. Ace of Cups, wanting a new opportunity with you. The Star card is here, wanting to heal. This could be an Aquarius. Nine of Wands, holding on to this, hanging around. Could be a Pisces. Two of Cups, wanting the Two of Cups with you. For some of you, I just got that this is a parent. So for some of you, remember, keep an open mind. It, it could be love messages coming through. That's my main thing that I do. But also there's other messages that spirit likes to highlight. So for some of you, this could be a parent that's been trying to reach out to you. And you may not be on the best terms with your parent. I think I got this for Virgo. Was it Virgo. It, it may have been for Virgo. Okay, four of wands. Show me this energy for Taurus. We have the three of pentacles, king of wands, the sun. Woo! 
What is that? Eight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. For some of you, like I said, you're already happily in a relationship or you've already moved on and you're just happily single. And I feel like there's, there's this person that keeps lingering in your energy. Fantasizing, wanting to have this with you, wanting to work something out. But I see you being distant. You're being very distant with this person. Why is Taurus being distant with this person? Why is Taurus being distant? Page of Wands. Strength card, Leo. Two of Swords. Okay, what is that? Sorry, you guys. That was a loud truck going by. I was trying to wait for it to completely go by. <clears throat> it feels like you don't know what this person wants. So you're just kind of keeping them at arm's length. It's like, almost like, what do you want? How is Taurus feeling for this person? Yeah, not very enthusiastic. Ten of Swords, <clears throat> the full energy, and the Magician, Gemini's energy. Ooh. You have a strong guard up toward this person. I feel like you're... <sighs> I keep trying to see something good on your side. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything good uh, as far as what you want or what you're thinking about this person. I feel like with the Ten of Swords, you feel like this person has betrayed you or ended it with you in some type of way. And I feel like a lot of you are taking a leap of faith and manifesting something better. Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, <clears throat> You could be moving on, but you could be wondering what this person wants from you. What are their intentions with Taurus? What is this person's intentions? Okay, so King and Queen of Pentacles. Straightforward, straight to the point. That's what they want. They want to be in a relationship with you. Six of Swords, you Taurus. They're moving straight toward you. Hierophant. They want a relationship. They want marriage, possibly something long-term, something stable with you. They're coming directly toward you. But why does Taurus feel hesitant? What is the blockage here? What is the blockage? Page of Swords, you're very skeptical of this person. Five of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. So do you feel like this person just wants your attention or they're like an attention whore or you may feel like this person is just going to ghost you? Some of you are still trying to figure this person out, like their motives. <clears throat> the world card, page of cups. Seven of Wands. Yeah. I, there's a block here. <clears throat> there's a major block. Like you don't want to hear from this person. I don't, I don't know. Y'all are going to have to tell me <clears throat> what's going on in the comments. It's like their, their apology wasn't good enough. Look at that. We just flipped out. Unrequited love and new love. I'm telling you, you guys, I'm feeling like you're not wanting it with this person who keeps pursuing you. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I don't know if you can read that. The words are kind of small at the bottom of the card. I'll hold it up for a second. But yeah, I'm feeling like with this unrequited love, you do not feel the same way or you do not feel as strongly 
about this person as they feel for you. You just don't. The cards do not lie. You do not feel as strong. They are ready to get, I mean, underneath an altar. And <laughs> if they could say and write their own vows, they would. Uh, that's how ready this person is. And you're like, um, no. I also just got this energy, like, you don't want any more kids. That's for some of you. So if you've had kids, maybe with another connection, maybe there's been pressure on you with this person to have children. Maybe you don't want that. You may not want that, okay, for some of you. You have new love here. That's why I said, I'm seeing at the very beginning, some of you have already found a new person. It says a new person has stared your romantic feelings. Some of you have already found new love or you're dating people. You're getting to know people. You see what I'm saying, Taurus? You're interested in other people and your feelings are not reciprocated with this other person. They're not, okay? I don't want to keep harping on that, but yeah, someone is very codependent on you. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Someone very codependent. Who did I just get this for? I think Capricorn. I just got this for Capricorn. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone with that in their chart. Okay. What's the advice here for Taurus in this situation? Not all of the cards. What's the advice? Romance. Yeah. I feel like some of you, you have a new romance here. You could be feeling a lot of romantic energy around you. That's what I was saying. Some of you, you could be dating multiple people right now and just exploring your options and that's okay. And others of you, you just found a new romance with someone else. See, you're ready at the bottom of the day. I feel like you're ready to move on from this unrequited love, something that just didn't work out. And it may be hard for this person to let go or get over you, but there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And I feel like a lot of you are releasing that person. Alrighty, Taurus, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I do look forward to hearing from you. You guys, this is the last weekly reading of 2022. It has been a pleasure reading for you guys all year long. So I hope you've enjoyed your readings. There's been a lot of ups and downs. We've been through a lot together. Thank you so much for rocking with me this year, for rocking with Sophia Monetero and for your subscriptions, your likes, your comments, everything, you guys. It has been greatly, greatly appreciated. So yeah, and for those of you who've been rocking with me since the beginning, when I had like 20 subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking with me thus far and uh, helping us grow and expand as we uh, journey into the future, into the new year. Merry Christmas, you guys. I hope you have a happy and safe holiday, um, even for the new year. Be safe, you guys. Don't get too crazy out there. But yeah, thank you so much again, and I'll see you in 23. Take care. Bye.